So, in order to perform substitution and elimination reactions, there are alternatives to using alkyl halides as substrates. We can also use what are called alkyl sulfonates, and the three that we look at in Chapter 7 are um, derivatives of methane sulfonic acid, so we call that those mesylate groups, derivatives of toluene sulfonic acid, those are called tosylate groups, and finally, derivatives of trifluoromethane sulfonic acid, which are called triflate groups. So the, the take-home message that um, for students in Chemistry 3101 is a mesylate group, a tosylate group, and a triflate group. So you need to be familiar with all three of these. And instead of having to write um, these out each and every time that you, that you um, incorporate these into your syntheses or into reactions that we look at, you can use an abbreviation. So chemists especially organic chemists love acronyms so instead of saying um, instead of writing out the the cell phone the cell phone and the methyl group you can just say R O M S and that will mean a mesylate similarly R O T S that's a tosylate and then finally R O T F will be a triflate so mesylates tosylates and triflates they're all really good leaving groups they're also quite large and so we use abbreviations when drawing their structure so again you don't have to necessarily draw these out unless you're drawing a mechanism, but you should be familiar with their structures and with the abbreviation. So why would these make such good leaving groups? Well, there's actually a very good reason for that. And sulfonates are such good leaving groups because they are very stable, just like a halide, like a chloride or a bromide or an iodide, because they are the conjugate basis of strong acids. And if you remember sulfuric acid, which is a very strong acid. Well, you can see that these acids are not too far um, away from the structure of sulfuric acid. So if we look at uh, methane sulfonic acid, so um, methane sulfonic acid is a pK of minus 1.9, paratoluene sulfonic acid minus 2.8, and look at this, uh, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid. There's another name for this. Sometimes you'll, you'll hear it referred to as triflic. So triflic acid, anyhow. Um, Trifluoric acid has a pK of minus 14. We could even do, you know, that's that's really acidic. So, if you look at these as leaving groups, the mesylate, the tosylate, and the triflate, the leaving groups are going to be the conjugate bases of strong acids. So remember, the conjugate base of a strong acid will make a good leaving group, just like an iodide or a bromide or a chloride. So these are no exception. So, and why are they stabilized? Well. Um, they're stabilized through not only um, resonance structures, but they're also stabilized by delocalizing the negative charge on electronegative atoms like oxygen. So you can see the resonance structures here. So that is why the sulfonates um, make such good leaving groups, because they are such um, stable conjugate bases. All right, so mesylate, tosylate, and triflate. So sulfonates, how do you make a sulfonate? Well, they're made from a corresponding alcohols. And we're going to see alcohols, you know, constantly in this class. So the first step is going to be a nucleophilic attack by the alcohol on to the tosyl chloride or mesyl chloride or um, trifluoromethane sulfonyl chloride. I'll just draw the first arrow here. You can try to figure out the rest maybe on your own time, but then you're going to um, obtain an oxonium, so that's an oxygen with a positive charge on it. And then pyridine acts as a base, and it takes the proton um, off of the oxonium to give you the alkyl tosylate. So there's an alkyl tosylate. It doesn't draw, or it doesn't um, show what the side products would be, but they would be pyridinium, pyridinium hydrochloride, so, or I guess pyridinium chloride is what I should say. There we go. So those will be side products, but those will be water soluble. So those are easily removed from the reaction mixture. So you should have an idea of how a tosylate or um, a mesylate or a, a trifluorum uh, um, or a triflate, excuse me, is formed. So when we're doing this reaction, this this reaction right here, um, we're not inverting any kind of stereocenter because we're not breaking the carbon oxygen bond of the alcohol. So it says here essentially we're just attaching the tosyl group, the TS group, to the oxygen of the alcohol. So there's going to be no change in the stereochemistry at the carbon atom that, that bears that hydroxyl group. So if you start with, uh, with a wedge in this case, which is S, 
for this uh, two butanol. When you add the, tos the tosyl group to it, you're still going to have the same um, the same stereochemistry. You'll stay, or, or you'll keep the S configuration. So also, I should just highlight that the PY that simply stands for pyridine. So instead of writing pyridine or instead of drawing it all the time, sometimes we like to just say PY like that. It's just a again another acronym that chemists like to use. So converting an alcohol into a good leaving group. So we can use again the tosyl chloride, the mesyl chloride, or the um, or the the uh, trifluorometh trifluoromethane sulfonyl chloride. So here we go. Um, to envision the compounds that can be synthesized from the, an alkyl tosylate, treat them just like you would any alkyl halide. So if I have a primary tosylate, I can pretend I can or I can treat it just like I have a primary alkyl halide. So if I treat that with hydroxide, which is a strong nucleophile and a strong base, I'm mostly going to get SN2 and, a, and just a little bit of, of E2. So I draw my major product as the SN2 product. So here's my major product. Oops, my major product. And I'm only going to get a little bit of elimination. Similarly, if I have a secondary tosylate, again, I can treat that as if I had a secondary bromide or secondary uh, iodide or any kind of secondary alkyl halide. Again, if I treat that with a strong base, strong nucleophile, I'm going to get mostly E2 product with a little bit of SN2. So there we go. Here's the product from the elimination mechanism, and here's a little bit of the SN2 product. So that is what alkyl sulfonates are, um, and they are going to come up over and over again uh, in this class. So let's take a look at um, the predicting the major and minor products for each of the following reactions. So here I'm starting with a chiral alcohol in 7.41E. The first step is to treat that with toluene sulfonyl chloride in the PY, which stands for pyridine. So again, I'm not going to invert that stereochemistry. I'm not going to invert that stereocenter, rather, because I'm not breaking the carbon-oxygen bond. So after the, the first step, what the product will be is simply redraw the carbon skeleton like this. I keep my dash, but now instead of having an OH, I have an OTS. So now all I've done is I've converted that alcohol into, um, into a good leaving group. So now that I have a good leaving group, the next step is to treat it with potassium t-butoxide, which is a hindered base. Um, it's a strong base, poor nucleophile, so it's going to give me exclusively the E2 product. And since it's a hindered base, it's going to preferentially give me the Hoffman product, the less substituted alkene. So I'll just draw that like this. This will be the major, oops, the major product like this. And then my minor product is going to be the Zaitsev product in this case. So minor, and that's because I have a hindered base. So we could even write that in here, hinder base. There we go. Um, for the second reaction, I have um, uh, a primary alcohol. So the first step, again, is just going to be to convert that into the, the tosylate. So let me get out um, the black one here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there we go, OTS. So that's after the first step. And then the second step, I'm treating it with ethoxide which is a strong base and a strong nucleophile. So I'm mostly going to get the SN2 product. So I'll just put that down here. So I'm going to have O ethyl. So this is going to be the major product. And I'm going to get a little bit of the E2 product as a side product. So I'll just count my carbons again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the beta proton that I would remove, I'll just draw it in here would be this proton here, so I should be forming a double bond like that. I'll just erase that. Here we go. So, um, and also let me get at the black pen. Here we go. Like that. So there's my elimination product, and that is going to be the minor product. So again, alkyl sulfonates. So the three that we look at in this class, let me back up, are the, let's see here, the mesylate, the tosylate, and the triflate. So again, you should be familiar with all of these and you can treat them just like you have an alkyl halide.